Hey guys, Jeremy here from the School of What Covent Garden. <laughs> hey guys, Jeremy here from the School of What Covent Garden. It is Wok Wednesday and this week it's Nasi Goreng. So it's essentially a Malaysian or Indonesian fried rice. And the difference in flavour really comes from things like your shrimp paste and your ketchup manis, your sort of almost treacly soy sauce. I'm going to go for dices of onion and red pepper. You don't want to overload your wok with too many ingredients because you want to keep that wok nice and sort of high heat most of the way through. I've got my plate here ready for my wok clock, so I'm going to start at 12 o'clock with my onions. Pepper, same sort of dices. Of course, you can use whatever vegetables you want for this. It is a fried rice after all. Most importantly, the rice needs to be much like egg fried rice, sort of steamed and cooled. So leftover rice is always good for this. So I've got my onions, my pepper diced up. I've got, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic into this as well, and then your spring onion is for the end. Spring onion for the end. And as mentioned, the rice, which has already been cooked and cooled. When it's cooked and cooled, it's much drier, so it's much easier to separate when it hits the wok. So I've got two eggs here, one that I'm going to mix and get into the actual rice and the other one we're going to fry to put over the top because Lee has specifically requested that we have a fried egg on top of our nasi goreng. And he's absolutely right, it just tops it off. Right, my egg's ready. That's going to go in first, so I'm actually going to pop that kind of at just above 12 o'clock. We're ready to wok. So, wok clock is ready. 12 o'clock with your first ingredient, and then you go all the way around. And that's why we call it a wok clock, so we know it's nice and organised, and it makes my cooking easy. So, onions, pepper, garlic, my rice, but don't forget, your egg's going to go before all of that. So, we want your wok on a nice high heat to start. The flavour is going to come in later on. We've got some shrimp paste, just a small amount there. 97% shrimp, 3% salt. And then the rest, sort of to balance out that flavour. A little bit of salt and pepper, some ketchup manis, which is the main ingredient. A little bit of sesame oil to finish. Drizzle of oil. Just baste that wok well and then pour your egg in carefully. Let that cook through for a second and then start to push it through. And quickly scramble that egg and push that to the back. You know you've got your wok hay, the height of your file or that sort of feeling of the wok's air right if there's no sticking at the bottom of the wok. At this point, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil ready for my onions. Onions in. That wok is smoking hot. I'm going to bring my egg over the top of my onion so it doesn't burn. And then just sort of break into the egg and push and fold and push and fold. Really quick cooking. But it's all about understanding how to manoeuvre that heat. So there's three or four ways to cool your wok down. Number one, stirring. It's a stir fry. Number two, pushing and folding, pushing and folding. 
with your spoon down. Try and keep your ingredients in the wok. And then number three is a wok toss. Lift it up, long push forward, quick flip back. Once or twice is enough, it'll just bring that smoke up here. The last one, which you probably have seen before, the tummy and the head. Round and round, back and forwards, round and round with your spoon, back and forwards with your wok. I don't want to overcook this, so I'm going to push this to the back, allow space for my next ingredient. If your wok is sort of dry of oil, then just a little drizzle of oil will do the job. Again, nice and hot before you put the next ingredient in. That's a great sound. Never lose your sizzle, guys. So just push that through, bring the rest of the ingredients over the top, give it a little tummy in the head, tummy in the head, flick through, and then just sort of, you're just sort of cooking out the rawness of the red pepper, maintaining a high heat all the way through. Garlic can go in with that. Oh, hello. Got really good heat going here in the wok now. So I'm just going to push that to the back. My rice is going to come in next. So I just want to make sure there's plenty of space for that rice. Again, that last bit of oil in the wok, your rice goes in. You can see how easily that separates out. Bring the rest of your ingredients into the wok. I'm just going to bring the heat slightly down just whilst I'm moving that around. Now at this point, any sort of clumps of rice, you want to start to break up with the base of your spoon. And if you do feel any sticking at the base of the wok, just give it a scrape at that point that it's sort of catching. And that'll just come from any moisture that's coming out of the rice. But I'd recommend not to put too much oil into this. If you need a little bit more, just a drizzle will do, but from the edges, like so. One round, and then bring that in. Once all your grains of rice are nice and separate, we're gonna to start to add your seasoning. Shrimp paste is pretty strong, guys, so no more than a teaspoon of shrimp paste is required here. And just make sure you press that into the rice and get it well mixed in. No one wants a clump of shrimp paste. I know now that the rice is cooking well because that excess moisture is coming out and there's less sticking on the bottom of my wok. So that shrimp paste is well mixed in. Next up, ketchup manis. A good lug of that. You can see how treacly that is. It's like caramelized dark soy sauce. And that really makes the flavor. Smells amazing. Just keep moving that around. Of course, that soy sauce in there adds moisture, which is why I've got so much steam coming off the bottom of the wok now. I start to get a little bit of stickiness on the bottom just from that treacly, sort of caramelized soy. Pinch of salt and pepper. And then lastly, a little drizzle of sesame oil. So I've cooked this through a little bit longer than, say, an egg fried rice, a classic egg fried rice, because I want to make sure that so the moisture of the sauce and everything does come out and you get that nice sort of fluffy but still separate grain of rice. That is ready. Spring onion. I'm going to dish this up and then we'll fry the egg to top it off. The best thing about a nasi goreng for me is the fried egg on top. So just carefully get that egg in. I want to get the base of it really crispy. So I've got a really crispy base to that egg, but the yolk is still nice and soft. So that fried egg is done straight over the top. Whoa. Now I'm getting excited and I'm going to keep this all to myself, Lee. So, nasi goreng, fried egg on top. Wouldn't mind a bit of sambal as well. We've actually got some homemade sambal from one of our other recipes. So, just pop a little bit of that over the top there. Can't wait to tuck in.
get into that yolk. Mmm. Oh, with the sambal. That's delicious. Takes me back to holidays. If you like this recipe, and you really want to learn how to make some simple street food like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.